video chat we started earlier called Passion and Patience in Photography. Um, I don't know what you think of this scenery here, but um, we kind of like it as a nice place to hang out for photo wise. It's called Bombo Quarry. It's an old quarry in Kayama, New South Wales. Uh, and Greg and I come down here for walks with our cameras. Um, not that we're gay or anything, but uh, we're just passionate photographers. That's Greg there. He's uh, checking his checking his periscope probably. But um, yeah, we're heading into the quarry now for a a walk and take some photos and and uh, talk about passion and patience in photography. Uh, the quarry here is abandoned as a quarry. It's um, it was a basalt quarry which was quarried to use as um, railway ballast uh, about a hundred years ago I'd say probably. Uh, now it's uh, home to hundreds of little lizards but it's also home to the local sewerage works which today is not very pleasant. Uh, Another thing about this quarry too, and I don't know if you know Greg, um, I've seen lots of car commercials on telly that feature this quarry. Yeah. That's a bit freaky. Are you getting the mirror? Are you, are you getting the... <laughs> I'm getting the tunnel vision. Yeah, you're getting the tunnel thing going on, yeah. And because of the time lapse, it's coming up. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, pa Greg, this pa uh, passion. passion and stupidity in photography. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this um, this quarry has been used in many many car commercials on in Australia. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. There's a big thunderstorm coming too. Just you not like it. Yeah, we might have to shut down and run shortly because there is a ton thunderstorm coming. But we'll potter on for now. So Greg's got his uh, Canon camera in his hand. What are you shooting with, Greg? What camera? It's a Nikon D750. I just told him it was a Canon. <laughs> no, but Nikon. It's a, it's a uh, professional's camera, Brian. <laughs> are your shins, Greg? I just kicked them. It's starting to rain, Brian. Well, where's your patience, Greg? What's that? Where's my umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing here with the steady cam stuff, but my arms are aching. Greg spotted something. What's he photographing? He's a beautiful tree here, Brian. He's like a great white hunter sneaking up on rocks. Beautiful spot. What's going through your head, Greg? Just how nice it is to be here, Brian. How nice it is to be here, outside. Not in front of an Xbox? No, I don't have an Xbox. The most time consuming thing I do, other than being productive at any given point, is being on Facebook. That's a bit my biggest waste of time. It is a waste of time, isn't it? Unfortunately, it's uh, an essential for business these days. I'm just tidying myself up here for a minute and we'll start walking again. Uh, anyone got any questions for Greg, the professional photographer with lots of time and patience on his hands? I'm hiding from you now. Don't, for God's sake, ask me what the flower is because I have no idea. But as photos go, that's probably 
framed nice-ish, maybe not. The light's quite poor here at the moment too. Turn the camera around and uh, we'll have a look at this. Uh, that's a bit of a storm. Bit of a storm brewing over there. It's coming. It's coming at us. You'll hear the odd thunderclap. Be very, very quiet, Brian. There's a photographer down here with the tripod. A purist. A purist with film. A film camera. Just, just around the corner here. Check it out. <laughs> It's very, it's very, it's very, very easy to speak purists with a digital camera. They, they get a bit narky. <laughs> hey audience, come on, ask me a question or ask Greg a question about photography. He's, he's using a Nikon. He's only got one in his hand. He's going to do great things with it. And uh, when we cut this as a video later, we'll uh, we'll be able to show you the photos he grabbed on occasions just like this. See, that's pretty cool now if you're framing a photo, let's say, like that, I would want that. And if you were here on another day when there was like a bit of sunshine, the sun would be going down behind me actually at the moment, but it's really nice here. Photography framing ways. There's Greg talking to a purist. We won't embarrass her. Without our permission, I suppose. Something a bit special about this spot. Maybe we should get somewhere where we can actually see the ocean pounding up against the, the rock wall. Mm -hmm. What's left of where they dug out. They quarried all of this and they left a wall up. Yeah. Which is pretty interesting. Did you explain that on? I explained what the quarry was for, yeah. Mm. Um, railways. Good metal know. for railways. You're gonna get a lot of you're getting a lot of lightning strikes back there now. Well that'll make for good video, won't it? Make for good video, but Without a time exposure, I, well, what I'll do is I'll cite an example of a good lightning shot, but it's about a 30 second exposure. And we'll pop it in post. Post. Yeah. I'll supply that one to you. And some of these beautiful pictures from around here. So, picture this in your head or in your mind's eye. If you're in Australia, you may recognise this from car commercials. They bring cars down here. So one set up over there one day. Oh, there's more thunder. Did you hear the thunder? <laughs> I reckon this could be real fun, Greg. Us getting <laughs> drenched in the rain. I'm gonna go for another one of those reflections that we feel, Brian. We got two in our audience, Greg, but nobody's asking any questions. They're probably just awestruck with this bloody beautiful location, Brian. Awestruck with your handsomeness, I'd say. I'm a little bit too rotund to be handsome, mate. <laughs> <laughs> camera. I think I need to figure out a uh, steady cam for this video. Steady cam hold. Oh, look at that. This is getting really nice light. Pinkish. Ooh, bit of a splash there. Just missed it. Damn. Now, if Greg wasn't in that shot, that'd be a nice shot. Hit the hearts if you like that. Come on, give us some love hearts. That's cool. I might put this down as a, on a rock here to give it 
a bit of a steady shot. Yep, let me just... Is there an overhang somewhere, Brian? Because I think we're going to get wet. <laughs> You're not going to go soft on me, are you? Better not stand profile, you might see too much of the old... <laughs> about to get hammered. Yeah, I think you're right. But the light's nice on this uh, video. And we're down to one in the audience. Nobody giving us any love hearts. Come on, give us some love hearts. That's a nice photo setup shot there now. Can you hear, can you guys hear the thunder in the background? The rain just started on the rocks here. We're going to get wet in a minute. But we're passionate photographers. See that pitter patter? On? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Greg, Greg's getting soft on me. But then he's probably worried about his equipment. Frame steady on that. Hang on. There we go. I like that light. Okay, to fill in the silence here, the awkward silence. Greg Primer over there on the rocks is my friend. He's a very passionate photographer. And uh, we're out here today talking about patience and passion in photography. Uh, uh, are you shooting into the sun? Well, actually, there is no sun. That light flare that you're seeing behind Greg is just some white cloud, basically. It's, um, gee, it's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun is still quite high here, but you can't tell because it's heavy cloud. There's actually thunder happening in the background. The rain has just started. Greg's got his camera under his t-shirt now. Hang on, we'll turn that around. Uh, location, we are in, it's called Bombo Quarry specifically. It's a, an abandoned quarry in Kayama, New South Wales. Uh, and Greg, uh, in a thunderstorm. In a thunderstorm, yeah. <laughs> but we're loving but, it, aren't we? Nothing will uh, dampen your enthusiasm more than a good old thunderstorm while you're in the in the thick of it. <laughs> but you know, if this passes, for the contrast pump of the water on the rocks, it'll look pretty good. Yeah. So what we're hoping for is it'll pass all that winter. Looking at the way it's coming from, it's about to get a whole lot worse before it gets any better. Uh, are you keen to get back to the car, or are you going to see it out? No, I think we can do it, but I'm just going to supply a bit of shelter from this rubbish pile over here. I'm liking this frame here. Uh, yeah, someone asked me, what did they ask me? About sunshine, yeah, that's just white cloud in the background of that there. It's actually quite dark here at the moment. It's uh, quarter past three in the afternoon, midsummer here in Australia. But uh, really dark because of this thunderstorm that's rolling in. Um, has a silhouette look. Yes, it does, uh, because the white clouds uh, have the backlight on those rocks, which are kind of majestic, don't you think? And I love that reflection in the water there as well. Um, obviously, I'm doing video here at the moment, but Greg's, I'm sure Greg's captured that. <laughs> Greg's been a monkey at the back here. Sorry, I missed that last one. Good on you, cheers. Thanks, mate. Uh, Michael, deadly nightshade, how are you? Um, yeah, so we're talking about passion and patience in photography, and I guess um, the theme is coming true here because we're just trying to be patient uh, to outlast this rain that just set in. Um, did you hear the thunder? Could get exciting here in a minute. Greg's found something.
Look what Zog do. Look. Look what Zog do. This one for you, Brian. <laughs> and this one for me. For the camera more than anything else. I just yeah. don't want to get my camera wet. Sure, sure. We believe you, don't we, folks? Yeah. Uh, time lapse the storm. Time lapse the storm, yeah. Yeah, no tripod. The only tripod's the one Brian's got. I'll give it to you if you want to do it. Without weatherproofing the camera, I don't think it's yeah. going to happen today. I've got my GoPro though. We could do it. Yeah, but is it a four? Yeah. yeah you can hit GoPro. You can uh, you can mount it. Just mount it on a rock point at the sky on super wide, and then. Um, yeah. And in fact. And then uh, hit uh, the time lapse sequence. Have you got the controller for the phone? On the uh, phone. The software. Yeah, I've got it too. If you can tell me your password, I can log on and trigger it with mine. I can just trigger it and leave it run. Yeah. I've yeah. also got this thing. Do panel, pan at panel, same lapse. Time. panel lapse. Mm. Nice. Yep, there goes great. I'm going to set up on this uh, nice picture over here again and uh, leave it for a second. While I set up my GoPro for the time lapse and then we'll cut that into the video later. Um, I suppose that's probably. Thanks for sharing, gentlemen. You're welcome. That's from. My eyesight's no good. But thanks for sharing. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Uh, Deadly Nightshade says it's beautiful. Uh, of course, we agree. It's lovely. Um, and the thing is, you know, what we're doing here today is we're going to do some uh, stills photos and we'll do this uh, panorama time lapse thingy as well. We'll cut that into a video later. And it'll probably take me two or three weeks to get on that online because I'm going away on the weekend. But um, yeah, if you want to check that out, you'll find it on militarycontact.com. That's militarycontact.com uh, And we have a section on there called Contact TV That's where you'll find it um, Yeah, for the latecomers we're in Bombo Quarry, Kayama, New South Wales uh, Patience and passion in photography Yes, you did see waves crashing. This is seaside. Uh, so we're standing in the quarry. Uh, that monolith that's standing in front of you there is a leftover from the quarry. So they left that there to keep the quarry sheltered from the sea, which is just on the other side of that. So it's only like five, that's probably, I don't know, 10 feet thick, three meters thick standing up there. Uh, so yeah, the sea is on the other side of that rock. Periscope is very cool. Yes, I think it is. Uh, you can travel the world. The world, yeah. If you have the patience to stick around and wait for us to set up these things. Um, I'm setting up my GoPro now on time lapse. We're, we're, we're going to whack it just up on this rock over here or something? Or oh, this one where I'm standing right now. So when we're standing right now, but you don't need it. You don't need to pan over it around. Here I go. It doesn't make a twist. Well, then I need a different mount, don't I? No, that's good. That holds it up. Have you got a little gorilla stand? I like your roadcase, Brian. <laughs> Is that a woolly roadcase? Yeah. My coals. Nice and bright. Like that? You get one has to be innovative when in the field. <laughs> Better than, better than poking the hole with a burnt stick. Yeah. yeah. So, Greg, talk to us about passion and, and uh, patience in photography while we're waiting to set up these things. We've got three people listening to us at the moment, loving what they're seeing. During the thunderstorm at a beautiful location, I think the passion is the passion is getting out there. The patience is waiting for it to happen. We're certainly, uh, we've got the passion part of it right. I hope, you can't, I hope your uh, transmitting device is okay there uh, under the circumstances. Yeah. Wasn't expecting the, uh, the downpour. Well, Hello. actually, was, was expecting the downpour. <laughs> G'day in Brazil, how are you? We knew it was coming. So. 
time lapse. What's, what's your password, bro? Oh, you got a set. A set, yeah, running. In it Brazil, it's nighttime in Brazil. Mm. It's uh, 20 past 3 in the afternoon here in Australia. Take a thousand photos to capture that perfect moment. Well, yeah, that's what we do. And you can too with the digital these days. Well, no, you, your ratio should be about 10 to 1. Okay, from the expert, 10 to 1. 10 to 1. For every 10 shots you pick, there's a one keeper. Do you Some people would even argue with that. Do you actually delete photos? I don't. No, no. Keep I'm one everything. of those idiots that keeps everything. Keep everything, yeah. High April light. Yeah, I keep everything too. And you know what? I, I've got so many hard drives these days. I was looking for something in particular the other day. You couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. I was sick in the stomach. Yeah. 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 But I found it two days later. Oh, yeah. It'll never happen when you need it, mate. And that's, uh, yeah, storage is uh, can be a, a bit of an issue. Because they say you should have it always stored in more than one place. Be more than what you in two places at any given time. Yeah. And storage is so cheap these days. I just built a 10 terabyte and array. <laughs> 10 terabyte array. Uh -huh. Cost me about 300 bucks. Yeah. I bought the enclosure and then I bought ter three terabyte drives. Uh -huh. They're each three terabytes. I've got a one terabyte in it and three three terabyte drives. How much will Google Photos store by default? How much will? How much will Google Photos store by default? I have no idea. No idea. Maybe ten gig. Well, I don't know. I don't yeah, I don't, don't know. Don't use it. Wouldn't use it. And the reason being because they're mm -hmm. on the Google server. I want them on my server. And as Greg says, I want them backed up as well. No, I mean, it's not nothing against Google, it's just that I want total control over my photos. Ain't well, that right? Know, if, if they get out there and somebody uses them for a commercial purpose without your knowledge... Well, I'm not even worried about that, Greg, because, um, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's coming from a man with a piece of plywood over the top. <laughs> a bit of particle board over the top, he said, yeah, and me, <laughs> with some... Some umbrella that's completely destroyed that I found in a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> but we're loving it. Yeah, no, look, um, I'm a big believer in... I'll tell you one thing, though. I I used to use the uh, cloud, the i... The, what do you call it? The iCloud uh, for, for my iPhone photos. But then I changed phones, and then I, well, I don't know what happened, but I, I deleted stuff off the phone because I was changing onto another phone, and that deleted them off the cloud oh. and off all my devices. So I thought, well, bugger that, I'm not risking that again. So, yeah. Well, that's, that's not good. I don't use Google for storing photos. I don't use the cloud for storing photos. My photos are on my hard drive, two hard drives, and that's where they're staying. G'day, Dan Dawson, how are you? Um, I hope you like the scene I've set up on the uh, on the picture here, because the one behind the camera is uh, a bit comical, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stay out of the rain that just caught us by surprise. Well, we could see it coming, but it came a bit quicker than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not too good. Not too good. Not too good, but it's... <coughs> um, g'day, Draken62. Why do people use names like that on the... I don't know. Melody Carlton, that's a proper name. How are you, Ma Melody? Um, really AFK. 
Working table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, for Melody's sake, I'm going to tell you that uh, uh, I'm, I'm good, Melody, but I'm getting wet. It's raining here, and there's thunder in the background. So I'm being an idiot standing out in the rain. <laughs> we're very, very minimal protection. But I think that's the point of what we're doing here. We're having patience because we're passionate about photography. So we're in a good location, photography wise. Yeah, and uh, really ship day. on a ship day, trying to, trying to stay dry out of the rain, but it's not happening. Uh, that person snowed in North Carolina. Uh, we are in Bombo Quarry, which is an old basalt quarry. B O M B O. B O M B O, not Bimbo, like okay. I misspelled it the last time I was here. Um, blue metal quarry. It's uh, basalt. Blue basalt. Blue metal. Yeah. Blue metal isn't it? Not blue metal. Isn't it? No, no. Basalt. I thought it was blue metal. I don't, I don't, maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, it's blue. It's <laughs> like road base. And this one was yeah, for railways. Yeah, for railways. There's about 10 of these around Kayama, don't you know that? Yeah. Right. And the big I one think up, up in the old... Um, three of them still active, or four even. But this one's abandoned a long, long time ago. Um, uh, that gap, if you're looking at the screen now, that gap between the rocks there, you might even see a wave splash there because we're a lot of water. 10 feet from the ocean here. Uh, I wish it would stop raining though. Looks like it's brightening up on that one. Uh, got another little walk. Is it, is it heading our way? What's that orange thing over there, the back there? Light boy. Is that a light boy? Yeah. You like to get somewhat elevated and show that we're right on the ocean. Yeah. Although it's getting a bit slippery over there. Oh yeah, this one gives a wave to just break up. Uh, love the accent. Well, I don't have an accent. <laughs> We need subtitles because he's not he's not from around here. <laughs> okay, my accent. If you ask my mother, she'll tell you my accent is Australian. But anyone in Australia will tell you it within ten seconds I'm Irish. Live in Australia made in Ireland. Uh, BR Webs 10, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Stick around a while, give us some love hearts. We're out here doing it hard in the rain for your sake to educate you about passion and patience in photography. We're standing in right. <laughs> Will I turn it around? <laughs> turn it around. Okay, here's the picture. Okay, that's a beautiful picture in the front. Here's what's happening behind. <laughs> uh, I'm standing on a rock, like a shag on a rock, with a piece of timber on my head. He found that <laughs> umbrella over there in the bushes. <laughs> That's because we're passionate about we're, photography. We're, we didn't necessarily come well prepared though, no. unfortunately. Got the camera. Got the camera. Didn't move forward. Here we are, coming at you live from the Bombay Quarry Man Cave. <laughs> Brings a whole new meaning to the word man cave. We're, yeah. in, a, we're in a cave. Neither of us got much hair. Come in a bit, you. Not much hair, we're actually in a cave. We're in a cave. In a cave. A, bit a of, little cave, a bit about two foot wide and three foot long. A little respite from the rain. Yep. Which uh, is not stopping anytime soon. So we've got one in the audience at the moment. Uh, not sure if you've been here before, but hey, dude! Hello, May Country. Me Country. Oh, contraire! <laughs> <laughs> I found an umbrella. Mm, he did, literally found an umbrella over there in the bushes. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh, that's sick, right? <laughs> Oh, it's the wife. 
Hi. Right. Oh, you got saturated. No, 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 no. I, don't, I can't believe that. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Uh, Bombo, we're in Bombo Quarry in a man cave. You can catch, hiding from the rain. Catch us live on TV. On no, you can catch us live on Periscope if you want to check Periscope out and have to download it. Misses. Give us a minute. We'll be at least an hour, I'd say, yeah. Right, oh, right chicken, thanks. Love you too, gorgeous. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, that'll be the wife. They got caught in the rain at the show. They went to the show. Funny, that. The Kiama show. And lo and behold, it, it was raining. Raining. How unusual. Yeah. How unusual. I'm really happy with this umbrella. It's a bit dodgy, but it, uh, but it worked. It worked. For... Whoa, Whoa, there's the ocean breaking up over the rocks right there. You need to actually, Brian, turn the camera around and point it, point it down at the ocean. Around. Yeah. The ocean, you don't want to be looking at us when no, we're No, 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 you don't want to. Not good. Whoa. <laughs> That's the ocean right there. Right there. Look at that. That's somebody joining us. Hello, whoever you are. I can't read the screen just now because. I'm pointing at the ocean. I'm pointing at the ocean. And I'm stuck in the man cave. Great. Right, I'm right, stuck in the man cave. I'm going to put a bit of shelter over the top of the camera for this. Because he's passionate about his equipment. Put it over the quarry so you can see the uh, the rock formations here. Actually, oh no, we've lost them. We've lost some of them. <laughs> the man cave wasn't interesting enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't really see the man cave. What else can we say about patience and passion in photography, Greg, that we haven't already discussed? Well, this is a magnificent location. If the, if, the, if the rain was to abate and the sun broke through, with the, the wet rocks and the contrast at the moment, there would be some fabulous shots to be had here. Yeah. But I have a feeling it sort of set in. It has that drizzly set in feel about it. It's not, we heard the thunder, it passed, it passed over, and this was behind it. So it's a sort of set in drizzle, unfortunately. A bit optimistic looking at those photos of him. He's optimistic? Yeah. Optimism, passion, and patience in <laughs> photography. <laughs> I think that sometimes a bit of optimism will help. Yeah. But nonetheless it is it is quite an interesting view of the uh, of the rocks. What is it? What sort of